I know that you're quite a big fan of, of wearables, aren't you? I mean, <clears throat> you're not going any today. I think probably your wrists have swelled in the heat and it's uh, been pretty hard. They, they look almost adult sized at the moment. So, but you know. I've, I've said I'm going to ignore those comments, so I am. Carry on. That's, that's probably fair, you know. But anyway, <laughs> away from your wrists. When do you think we're going to start seeing wearables genuinely hit the mass market? I think it's tough to say. I mean, wearables, watches, I think very soon. I think we're very close to getting the smartwatch right. It probably will be Apple that does it. Um, the Moto 360, though, I have to say I'm very excited about, and that is one wearable I'm going to be rushing out to buy. Well, that's, that's the one that's, that's luring me in. You know, yeah. I'm a little bit reticent to, yeah. to invest it. I just don't see the point quite mm. yet. But... Yeah, the Moto 360 has got... It looks nice, but the test is in... I mean, it looks nice, yes, but I think the real test is in Android wear. Having Google now on your wrist, I think, could be, very, could be a very powerful tool. And I think this is what Google has that Apple doesn't have. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think the Moto 360 and possibly the LG watch... I know it's square, and I'm not too keen on the square design. That's why I like the, the round face of the Moto 360. But um, I think the Moto 360 could... your little wrist better as well. <clears throat> I think that the Moto 360 could be the one that really, you know, kickstarts the, the smartwatch because it, it kind of does what I've been saying for a long time, that smartwatch needs to be sold as a nice watch, not a nice piece of tech. I don't want to look at your watch and say, oh, that's, that's an interesting piece of tech you've got on there, Patrick. What does it do? What is this gizmo? I want to be like, that's a nice watch. You're like, oh, thanks you. Yes. And it also does this and it's got Google now. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. That's what a smartwatch needs to be about. That's okay. a good conversation. <laughs> I like that so, I didn't have to play any part in that conversation. Yeah. So, yeah, that's... that's. So you reckon by, by the end of the year we're going to start seeing this? I think by the end of the year we'll have a handful of really good smartwatches. So by 2015... I think by 2015 the smartwatch... We'll start to see wearable tech become more yeah. mass market. Yeah, because it'll and be more will subtle. Will we all be wearing a Google Glass? That question is different. I don't think so. But I think Google Glass is an interesting concept. It's on the right idea. But it's not right yet because no, I think there are just, I mean, I think ask anyone, they'll be like, you know, the, there are so many situations you'd be in with Google Glass and you just feel awkward. It's, uh, it's for me, it's not on the right path. Right. It's on completely the wrong path. It's, it's definitely a nice concept and it's got yeah. some nice ideas, but it's not on the right path at all. And that's my But what about, issue. okay, so maybe we go a step further and say glasses, like normal glasses, but they have that technology inside. Well, that, augmenting reality is yeah. definitely what you want to kind of get to. Okay. I mean, it's contextual computing. I mean, that's you can take all the wearable stuff away from it. Basically, yeah. a computer that knows where you are, where you're going, yeah. what you did before, and um, what you should be thinking about that you haven't thought about yet. Yeah. That's contextual computing, and that works really well. Yeah. Google Glass doesn't feel like a contextual computer yet. Something but with come Google now on it, <clears throat> and getting better, then yes, possibly. feasibly. Yeah. I, I mean, I want to be. I want to be told. You know, I want my, the the pub that I'm meeting my mate at highlighted in gold in my vision you know I mean I'm, yes. I'm not asking for much basically just <laughs> augment my reality <laughs> and I think Google having Android Wear and Google now it, it's getting it's right in that it needs to we need to look at the software as much as we do the hardware you know there's a lot of emphasis on how does it look well, it's got to be useful it's got to be and, useful and, yeah. and you're right I mean some of the Google now stuff is clearly a sensible way of looking at it yeah. providing you the information that you need when yeah. you need it yeah but it's not there yet yeah. and it needs to be there fairly soon because I think you need that in place before you can get the hardware right yeah. because you need to know how to integrate it into your life and whether it's on a watch or whether it's in your vision mm. whether it's both whether it's a combination of all of those things mm. I'm not sure yet but it's definitely the, one of the most interesting things in tech right at the moment <laughs>